In this video, I'm going to be showing you the updates that Webflow posted to components. They're pretty much the same. However, there are a few usability updates that are really cool and is going to solve a lot of frustration that I was personally seeing clients have and different people have with Webflow components. So I'll link this article from Webflow in the description below if you want to check it out. But if we hop over to Webflow, we are going to use this nav bar as an example. This is a free Webflow template we give away, by the way. It's completely free. I'll also link this in the description. But one of the biggest changes is we can actually now double click into components without it automatically creating a property on an element. So it used to be where if we double clicked into the component and my mouse was over this button, say for example, it would automatically create a new property for that element. It was really confusing. I all the time saw clients accidentally, they would double click into a component like a nav bar or a footer or something like that and it would automatically create a property and it was super frustrating. So that is super cool. Another big change is this is a really cool usability change. If we were to create a property for this nav button, so we would just do, say button. If I click out of the component and then click back on the component, you can see there is a little dotted line around the button. The button isn't really a good example. Let's use one of these nav links, for example. So we're just going to create a new property. And if I click on the component, you can see it outlines it in a green border color. This lets you know that these elements, the elements with the green dotted borders, they have properties connected to them, which is really cool. Also, another change is if we click on this gear icon on the component, we have quick access to all of our properties that are connected to this component. So we see we have that about us text property and then we have the sign up button text property. That is another really cool change and it really we can edit the uh, stuff directly from here. We don't have to go to the settings panel. So we can completely change everything here and we can undo things here as well. One change that they did do that I wish they wouldn't have is you can see in the navigator right here in the left hand side, we can't open up components directly in the navigator without having to double click in and edit them. I was really in love with that feature where you could open up the components in the navigator without having to double click in to edit the component. Um, so that is one feature that they did take away. So that is a quick overview on the new changes that came to Webflow components. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below and I'd be happy to try and get back with you. Also, if you do have questions about Webflow or you need help with something, I do offer Webflow Consulting. There is a link to that in the description. Or if you are a company, we do offer unlimited Webflow subscriptions and there'll be links to that in the description as well.